Hello everybody! Cam from the fish room and today we're doing an upside down update of my fish room because some things have changed again! If you've not been to this channel before, we talk about aquariums and tropical fish. If that sounds a bit like you, please feel free to subscribe to our channel, like our videos, share our videos, and if you have any questions down below, please put them in there and I'm more than happy to ask them. We're also on Facebook as the Fisherman NZ and we're also on Instagram as the Fisherman NZ. Let's get on with my update. Alright, so like I said, things have changed. Let's start with this tank here. You've probably already seen the video that we released a few weeks back. But angelfish. Yep, I've now got some angelfish that I'm going to be chucking in my display tank uh, that is inside the house. So I wanted a big, massive shoal of them, so I've got about 20 in total. So I'm fizzing about these guys. They're part of an experiment. Uh, another few weeks to go, we'll see how we go. Let's move on. The plant tank that I'm going to put this little rack in here is now completely dry. Awesome to be cleaned out very soon i know i've said that multiple times but it's now dry i believe that leak is coming from that area around there so i'm going to give that a clean up i've got the silicon i'm going to silicon it up and away we go we move along to here our peppercory doors are coming along nicely uh rainbow fish is now only one because the other two jumped out yeah, that's my own fault for not having a lid. So I've got a single boss money. What happened here? Cracked. Yep, I was doing a water change yesterday morning and I heard crack. So what the heck's going on here? No idea. And then I looked over because the water's already drained to about there at this point on this one. I was working on another tank and I saw the crack back there and I was like, oh, come on. So this rack has caused me nothing but troubles the whole way through and it's just another chapter of troubles and I'm really close to wanting to throw my toys and just give up on this rack and get back to what I love doing which is setting up display tanks so uh, that may be happening as well. Skunkies! I lost one. When I say lost I mean I have no idea where it went. They are putting on some nice size. Uh, there's only them in the tank. Um, I'm still absolutely in love with them. You may notice that my crinum is not in here anymore. I sent it up north to a friend of mine. Um, so that's gone. I didn't think I was doing it justice being tucked away in my fish room when somebody else could get a lot more joy out of it. So spread the love. Fingers crossed he gets it to reproduce. I had it for three years or so and I didn't. So maybe he will. If he does, he'll be able to spread the love around and I never know I might get one back. Little pro laser quarries. Well, they're still as shy as they ever were. Where are they tucked in there? There's one. I believe there is only four in here now. I lost one in the first week due to what I believe was just um, transport, you know, moving around, that kind of thing, stress. Um, I don't know where the other one's gone. Like, it literally just got up and disappeared as well. Same as that. Skunk quarry. There's one down there somewhere. But they're still really reclusive. I haven't put any diff fish in here. Uh, but I am in, in the process of setting up a black water tank. Um, they may make their way in there. They may not. I'll do a little more research. But I think if the rack itself in general goes, I'll have a few small display tanks along this wall. Uh, because I've really had enough of putting up with the crap that's going on with here. It's just not worth my time and effort. Fish keeping is meant to be easy, not a pain, and it's just causing me a pain. Um, so I might set up a few small display tanks and they'll probably make their way in there. And then I have the black neons, which we recently did a video on, so we'll chuck the link up there for them. Absolutely underrated fish. I totally love them. Um, they are going to be a centerpiece within one of my display tanks that I'm doing because they're so cool. Um, that is the first piece of wood that is completely waterlogged 
for the Blackwater setup that I chucked a post on Instagram on. Uh, the other two are still floating a little bit and there is a bit of bloodworms here that they haven't touched. Get my handy dandy plant scissors. Get where we stir up. Have a wee feed. But yeah, black neons, they're going to move. But at the moment they're just sitting there. The planted, the big bushy planty bright display I was going to do in here, I pulled pin on that. Uh, my theory being that I've had this tank cycled now for probably close to six months and I haven't put a single plant in there. That tells me it is not the time to do it. That tells me that I do not want to do it. That tells me that if I do it, I'm not going to enjoy doing it. So do something you love, and it's not that at the moment. So if you couldn't tell, I'm pretty much getting out of plants because I just don't feel the love for them at the moment like I once used to. Uh, hence crinum's gone, hence the display tank's not going to be planted anymore. And it'll be ridden through my java moss and I'm not really doing much in here so uh, that was a decision that I made purely on the fact that I'm not getting pleasure out of them whether it's because they're tucked in here uh, or I'm not giving them the time that they need but I'm just not really keen on doing planted displays or growing plants for the time being so I'll just pull pin on them for now uh, joy of this beautiful hobby is that you can go from one thing to another thing to another thing it doesn't really matter so I'm doing what I love, I'm doing what I want to do and I like setting up display aquariums and so that's what I'm doing in here I believe once these are gone that's pretty much what it is. So first step of course I've got to sell it so if anyone is in Nelson is interested I racks for sale. Once it's gone I'll start setting up a small few display aquariums. But I'm still working on the misses about setting up the Blackwater one inside. Check out my beautiful angel fish. Don't put them in your mouth and suck them. No, don't do that. Check out the beautiful angel fish. It's a cool little fish. Cannot wait for them to get put in my display tank. And as always, we have plenty of aquarium supplies, equipments, foods, and water treatments, and pond gear, and air pumps and cleaning things and fish food and replacement parts for fluval and water conditioning uh, sorry and water chemistry stuff and more food and test stuff so if you're in new zealand www.thefishroom.co.nz for all your online aquarium supplies aquatic plant stuff algae stuff Whatever you need, we have got it, and if we don't have it, we can order it in for you without any issues whatsoever. That's www.thefishroom.co.nz. This was a paid advertisement for thefishroom.co.nz. So there we go. An update of my fish room currently. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll stick around and watch our video next week. Have a good one, guys. Happy fish keeping. And catch you later. Come back to, come back to, come back to, come back to.